Good evening, friendos. It's time for Infinity Drive for Life, round six. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness. I didn't, well, I did anticipate going more than the initial three rounds. I spun up just enough uh, sequences of androids to cover nine rounds. Uh, but here we are at six. I'm, I'm really excited, actually. It's very, it's very exciting tonight, in particular. One, because we have a pseudo couch. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm Mr. Bond. I, I don't know if I'm in frame because it's kind of narrow. Um, you but hi, <laughs> uh, Toron. I got Vlad. I got Saxon here for a, a, a very, very special confluence of things that kind of lined up for this. Mm, good word. I know. It's mm. just been one of my favorite words the past few days. Confluence. It just sounds Jira. so good. Jira. No, not, not Jira. <laughs> confluence. Just confluence the word. <laughs> Anyways, Infinity Drive for Life is a multi-day charity stream supporting Extra Life, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. In particular, this event is going towards Children of Wisconsin and Wauwatosa. A uh, very good, important cause to help out their COVID-19 impact fund, which is still uh, ravaging the globe. Very bad pandemic, which is why we're all masked up, socially distanced as much as we can mm -hmm. here, uh, given the narrow space. Got some extra ventilation, extra airflow. We're doing as much as we can here. Uh, short of not doing this, but we kind of had to because it's a special occasion. Uh, so welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're getting really close to unlocking round seven, which I am, uh, would be really excited to do, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of half hoping that tonight is the last night and half hoping it's not, because my goodness, 18 infinity drives is a lot of infinity drives to do. Um, but we are very close. We are at 1,213 points Ooh. out of 1,400 points required to unlock round seven. We had a last minute $25 donation come in from Firetron at the end of last time. Thank Bonus you. for that stupid run. Thank you, Firetron. <laughs> Thank you. And also a $50 donation from an external source, so that won't show up. Uh, but we are at $603 total donated. Heck yeah. Very cool. Thank yeah. you very much, everybody, for your generosity. I have a quick question. Yes. So do the points that we earn as part of the guessing thing get added to that, or is that... No. no? Okay. Negative. Wow, say, <laughs> that would be ridiculous. You'll I be would, playing forever. I would be doing nine rounds, guaranteed, <laughs> if that was the case. But no, it's just the donation total, plus all the other extra points earned in-game and on-stream including these 194 points from downs alone oof. oof that's a lot of downs although pretty average for all my runs considering we have uh, 40 points from embryo ex encounters five points eat at eight so we're about half seas on that very cool 20 points from justice surges only two out of the 15 so far kind of embarrassing but it's a very difficult trick to pull off so i'm not really that surprised 160 points from eight victories so we are just north of the 50 percent mark there yes that's what I like to see. 10 points from new followers, five points each, very good. 180 points from new subs, nine new subs, wow. Thank you very much, everybody. And six points from 600 bits, one point for 100 bits cheered. So that takes us to the total of 12, 13, again, 1400 points to unlock round seven. This is your final chance to, uh, to push that up. No pressure, no pressure. Hmm. But tonight we have the final three of the second full run through of nine androids. We're starting with licorice. I do not have a licorice shirt because it does not exist. So we are, by special request, wearing the Holly shirt again because apparently, 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 um, it's been a lucky charm since uh, last time on Wednesday night we did a Holly victory and then, uh, let's see, what was the other one? Now I'm not even remembering. Wow, I, I'm, I'm super good at this. Let's, let's double check what we did. I feel like I had two victories with the Holly shirt last time, but I don't remember which ones they were. Uh, Holly? Holly and, and Coral. Coral. Yes, that's right. I don't know why I was thinking about um, something else there. But yes, Holly and Coral. I was I real don't... upset about that peanut performance, Josh. <laughs> that was, no, that was embarrassing. You're right. Like, oh, I was trying not? to make you feel bad. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh my goodness. Oh, no. Oh no. Things are already happening. Yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> So what is that? Another five gift subs in there? Thank you very much, EI. My goodness. So let's tick that up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so that's another hundo there. So we're at 1313 out of 1400. Uh-oh. <laughs> Getting closer to 1400. But uh, enough of my just random jabber here. Uh, let's get started with our very first run tonight. Licorice. Got the shirt, which is Holly, whatever. Let's set the window dressing. And then let's get on in there and get going, because we got a lot of runs to do. And not a whole lot of time to do. But here's uh, Licorice's normal skin, normal black armor, but then her alternate skin is red armor. So red Licorice. 
Very fun and cool. Very punterific for most of these alt skins, because last time we had, what, Megaman Kali? Or Megaman Coral, Casual Holly, and uh, Clean Peanut. <laughs> Clean Peanut. Listen, I'm really bad at wearing these for some reason. Okay. So let, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, there's no extra lead in needed. Let's just play some licorice here. So licorice's backstory, since we've been going over backstories for for all of them in the second wave of runs here, is she's a, a, a military spec android built on the moon. And nobody quite knows why she's on this uh, deep hull, deep space fighter, the Genki, or freighter, the Genki Star. Um, and I don't want to spoil why she's there. Uh, you'll just have to get the game and play the campaign, etc. Uh, to find that out. So, Redacted is why she's here. <laughs> but she's got her nice you know, heavy-duty cannon for the primary fire and that nice old slashy Vorpal Blade for the secondary. Which is super fun. My second most favorite android to play as. Uh, the first, of course, being my girl, Obby. Mm -hmm. But who oh boy, it's uh, it's tough to to come up with more things to talk about since we are now on run 16. Um, so I will leave it to my couch to interject whenever they wish. All right, well, let's have a look see here. Whilst we get into Red Layer Three, I've only ever played as Holly personally, so. Well, that's a that's a good um, good standard Android to play on. Yeah, mm -hmm. except I, when I get caught in a wall. Well, yeah, well you don't want to get caught in a wall regardless yeah, of who no, you are. No. But yeah, this is Wicker, and um, I wonder how aggressively people bet and against or for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have a pretty good record with Wicker, don't you? Uh, I might be like two out of four for this year. You've been approving. Yeah, certainly, certainly, certainly. Before um, Infinity Drive for Life actually started, I did a whole bunch of practice. One run a weekend since pretty much the start of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and I did end up getting an 11 run win streak going. Yeah, that was pretty tight. Which covered every Android. So all nine, plus a plus a couple doubles. I think a double cactus and a double lemon or a double starch or something like that. But yeah, I was real proud of that. So I'm, re I'm real, real cool with that stuff. And I don't want to take it down on four. That would be very embarrassing. All right, we're good. That would be very against my back. <laughs> That's right. So tonight was the last, well, maybe, we'll see, I guess, was the last <laughs> night for the contest entries. For guessing the results of all these drives, and full disclosure, Tormod uh, is one of the entrants. I'm going to ask you for ethics sake. Oh, please, I'm going to be totally cool about it. Please, no intentional sabotage. Like, <laughs> I, I can sabotage myself just fine. Thank you. You know, actually, uh, I was going to ask you a question. So mm -hmm. what is the licorice meta for you? Licorice meta, oh my goodness. Uh, lots of triple slashes, if yeah. I can pull them off. Cool. Um, chances are I'm gonna try to target a mine that's bouncing right towards me and just eat it in the face. Um, like, almost there. Okay, that so what was... you're saying is we shouldn't randomly spawn mines on you. No, that would be a bad thing. Oh, okay. um, typically, Licorice isn't terrible at mines, um, but she's not real good at melee range with them. So, regardless of uh, weapon level, uh, does she always fire two? She does not. Her okay. initial weapon level, weapon level zero, shoots a one at a slow pace. Excuse me for a second. My goodness. I really should have invested in a clip for this, because I didn't anticipate doing a lot of talking with it on my face. Um, but her initial weapon level fires one slowly. Uh, first weapon level fires one rapidly. Second weapon level fires two slowly. And then max le weapon level, which we're at right now, fires two quickly. Alright, I'm just gonna let this ride down below my nose. I'm not gonna mess with that. Lickers sounds very confident. She is. She's mm -hmm. kind of a... She's kind of a jerk. Yeah, a um, little bit, in the main storyline. Yeah, when you fight her in the campaign... Spoilers, you fight her in the main campaign. Oh no. Uh, she is quite, um, unpleasant. It'd be kind of funny during Infinity Drive if Lickers fought herself. Ooh, that would be kind of rough. Yeah, a little bit. Ooh, excuse me. A little panic swap there to avoid that down from a mind to the face. Mm, not enough to get that second. Oh my goodness. I don't, I'm not sure how I didn't down there. I didn't have an accelerate to absorb any damage. And it looked like I took that mine full on, but 
Apparently something blessed me with the one bit of protection. It's gonna take 500 me bits actually blessed you. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, okay. You said the word Very bit, so I just had to insert that in there. Excellent, yeah. excellent. That's uh, five more points towards ye old total, then. Inserting like credit. Yo. <laughs> Sick name drop. Right? There he is. Alright, oh. so, hello, embryo. Uh, Goodbye, uh, phase one yeah. embryo. <laughs> Been to was, win. Uh, a bit silly. I, I was gonna go for the full slash there, but I knew I would get just totally wrecked by that bullet spread. I'll do it here. Miss it. Huh. Hey, blinking. Oh, I even canceled out of that slash. The big smart guy. Oops. <laughs> I have not seen that global emote before. Thank you for blessing me with that EI. Yep. Alright, I need to scroll my own chat down so I can see all this stuff happening. Is it layer 27 already? It is not. <laughs> we'll get to that though. Okay, that was good. I was a little bit worried he might catch me at the last bullet spread, but... Nice we work. survived. Ooh, okay. Okay. So, what is Embryo EX? So, Embryo EX is a, a powered-up fight of Embryo that we hit at layer 32. Ah, okay. Ooh, nice. Triple. Alright. That's great. Back with the vengeance. Very pretty. Like, the, the triple slashes are real nice and pretty. You just need to have enough around to target. Which, you know, with all the wasps. Yeah. Wasps are really hard to target. Are they? <laughs> yeah. yeah the hitbox is kind of tiny and, and they're always kind of shimmying about. I gotcha. Uh, if there's a big group, it's not so bad. Although you might end up targeting the wrong one. Something, something fast you want. Yeah, oh boy, that's gonna be fun in seven layers. <laughs> Assuming we get that far. Oh, we'll get that far. <laughs> like, I'm not too worried about that. Once we hit mid-30s, then it's like, mm, okay. That's fair. We might get there, we might not. Yeah, it's pretty solid so far. Ooh, little coward shut down there. Didn't really want that. Yeah. Oh well. It's still, like, single-digit layers, we can be fast and loose. So how many frame perfect accidental uh, power up grabs are you gonna get this run? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if there's anything accidental about frame perfect ones, but if I take a, a silly spill and one spawns on my corpse, <laughs> I guess that counts as a frame perfect grab. <laughs> oh, see, I'm thinking of like, oh, I want to get this accelerate, but wait, no, it's a shutdown now. Damn oh, it! Oh yeah, that's um... like a frame that it switches over. That, yeah, that's happened plenty of times. Ooh, nice casual thousand chain. There you Let's go. See how long that stays. Take a look at my numbers here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want to compare your, your guess as to what's going on here? Go be my guess. I mean, uh... That's why I put that feature in. <laughs> Let's just say you're doing better than I thought you would. Oh, uh, thank you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not so going to try to triple that guy there. And pop behind a wall. Double digits! Layer 10, blink and you list it. It's only this one wave of enemies. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, dang, oh, you almost got out. Yeah, it's like, uh oh. I heard a lot of a lot of things go on. Oh, I missed that battery, too. Not some gum. Alright, well, whatever. So we had a, a slightly above 1,000 going there. But plenty of time to get that back and better. I'm kind of digging this green purple vibe here. Mm hmm. Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Right. I think some of the layer colors do change depending on which uh, which path you're on, too. Uh, Interesting. So if I were still on red layer 11 here, this would not be this green purpley bit. So, go ahead and explain this pathing because I don't actually know what it is. Sure, sure, sure. So uh, I tried to cover it a little bit on the first round and then kind of bring it up uh, in other rounds, but we can recap it again. So, when you first start the game, you start on a blue layer. The, the layer number down on the bottom center will be blue. Oh, okay. And the way you advance to green and then red layers is by not breaking chain, whether that means just straight up breaking chain or taking it down. Gotcha. So each, each enemy wave that you essentially play perfectly um, will advance you to the next layer color, and, and you end up on red. And each successive kind of layer path there uh, gives you more enemies. 
uh, which is okay. good, which is which is very good, which is what you want because yeah, you get bigger chains. Right, you get bigger chains, uh, and you get more batteries. Right. Ah, more okay. Opportunities for batteries. Yep, yeah. and that's extremely important once we hit thirties. And I suppose if you play well with the red layers, you'll also get a higher max score too. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So battery drops are based on the number of weapon energies that drop here. These little white things, I think they're called bolts, gotcha, canonically. Gotcha. Um, so more enemies, more weapon energy drops, more batteries. Cool. And also it'll be important for actually getting the Embryo EX fight later. You have to be on a red layer by the time the transition hits from 31 to 32. So speaking of red layers, you mentioned you go from blue to green to red, correct? Correct. So yep. if you manage to actually hold it at red the whole time, what's the theoretical maximum number of enemies you can encounter? Um, I'm not sure. It does cap out at whatever the red layer is, so it doesn't keep building up. Uh, well, yeah, sure. Um, but it's somewhere very close to 12,000. It's gotcha. hard to gauge because any, any, any enemies that you do not land the killing blow on do not count towards your little ah, bit at the okay. end. I gotcha. So any red lasers, any yep. rockets, any mines uh, that finish off an enemy do not count for your kill. Dang. So you're saying like five years down the road when you've completely mastered the game you're going to start doing runs like that. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, no. I mean, hey, it's another scoreboard. Enemies destroyed. I suppose. I think the max I've got is like 11,400, somewhere around there. That's still pretty great. I suppose if there were ever like a, a truly effective task for this, you could attempt to uh, destroy every enemy yourself. <laughs> Except that would be borderline impossible. Yeah, you'd have to target all the lasers and mines before yep. everything else and still manage not to die somehow. Mm -hmm. Still manage not to die, still manage to not let any mines drop in a hole. Because yeah. that doesn't count either. Sure, okay. <laughs> and so not lose your oh chain. And not <laughs> lose your chain, don't let any rockets from the doggos hit anything. It, right. There's just so many things that you have to watch out for if you were to try to do that. Rocket dogs are now known as Rockos. Here they are. Okay, fair. That's, that's that's a fair name for him, I think. There's a lot of dudes over there. Please come down here. Thank you. Let me kill you. I don't want him to get caught behind this dang rotating wall. Doing great for battery management so far. Yeah, it's still pretty early. Red layer 14. We don't really need to worry about things until about 29, 30, 31. Yeah, to answer your question, their life is short. <laughs> <laughs> You have to pick up the weapon energy bits to contribute towards battery, or is it just enough to let them spawn? Just spawning is enough. Um, because you'll notice the battery pops always from an enemy kill, uh, and that's when the that's when the weapon bits spawn. I got her. Okay. And hello, Vespi. I forgot we were already up to 15. Oh, oh yeah. And I'm almost about to take it down here, probably here. Oh, wow. She's very kind. Time to uh, rapidly raise your team level. Ooh, I could have held that a little bit longer. I got scared. I like how the game, after you've played literally thousands of hours, it's like, hey, buddy, collect the battery. Right? And they only pop that if you had missed the previous battery, uh, just I to remind you. Oh, really? Yeah. You need to do this to win. <laughs> yeah, right? Don't forget this. That was scary. Why did I do that? That was really close. I'm surprised she didn't reach out and touch me. Give me a little bit of leeway. No, that's going to be in um, firepower. I don't know if I want to deal with this final phase, so... <laughs> um, excuse me. Oh, that's not going to be a thing anyways. Woo! Toasty! Excuse me. Wow. Wow. Alright, that, that was... Gutsy. Yeah. A little silly. I shouldn't have done that. Like, my brain was screaming at me not to do it that way, but... Oh well. As long as it worked, then I didn't down. You had people Probably cheering fun. you on IRL. No risk, no reward. Yeah. That's right. Well, I mean, it wouldn't have really mattered. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it's too early to really matter. To really do silly, dangerous plays. But, at the same time, like, that's the best time to do them. Oh. And hey, I mean, with the earlier layers, you're not really concerned about your battery as No, not really. I don't want to get too far behind, but 
As long as I grab pretty much every one, I can miss like two or three. Sir, excuse me, thank you. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. It's really interesting getting the triple slashes because you can do like a little triangle route to get the stuff. Yeah, that's around sweet. corners. Speed strats. <laughs> I mean, literally. <laughs> Boom. It's awfully convenient how all the enemies just kind of disintegrate and disappear when they die. It'd be a lot more difficult dealing with oh, uh, yeah, if you had to trudge through a bunch of debris or something. Thousands of robot bodies. <laughs> That'd be oh, noisy dang. as heck. <laughs> just See, now I'm getting an idea metal. for DLC for this game where it's like, you know, for all of the enemies you destroy, you can, like, salvage their parts and make ultra androids. Oh, oh my goodness. That'd be awesome. Android piloting androids. I don't know, that might be a little too Japanese. Uh, I mean... <laughs> For an Australian game. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to say that this game isn't gratuitous enough as it is. Yeah. I can just imagine it grinding everything to a halt as the GPU Wait. struggles to render all the debris <laughs> bouncing around. So, this is a gratuitous space battle. A little bit, yeah. yeah. We're safely ensconced in a spaceship, but yes, I guess technically we are in space. Had a name uh, drop. It's gonna be a little bit weird. Okay. I mean, it's us. So. Oh. Nice. Got that laser pistol oh. shine. Almost. Nice. I'm gonna get the 2000 mark before I drop it like a fool. Accelerate. You fool! I'm just glad it stopped on 1969 long enough for you <laughs> to say nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did I get him? To? He jumped over it. What a jerk. Hey. And you're gonna get down hey, to 2020. 2000. Oh, that would just be the worst jerk move of 2020, yeah. yet, wouldn't it? <laughs> but no, I say no to that. God, yes, yeah. please, thank you. <laughs> no more tragedy. Um. Got some pretty awesome tunes too. Yeah, it's a shame we're all talking over it, but yeah, exactly. you, know, you do what you need to do. I'm sometimes. good at that. Well, you know, talking over it, blasting Ooh. over it. Uh, comment to the day is, and then I started blasting. Uh -huh. Those orcs are like, yeah, hey, come back. I need to infuse you with my power. Oh, sir, excuse me. That guy melted and then shot the laser towards me. That seems illegal. It should be. It really should be. <laughs> um, oh, oh, okay. oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Lose and accelerate at four times. <laughs> Just keep that rolling. Just got one of those robots stuck here, too, or something. Huh. Not sure if one. Okay, red layer 20. Game's getting a little serious. It wants us to uh, stop doing so well. <laughs> Which we say no. If licorice could be spicy. See, that's the type of thing that Laker should actually say in her boss fight. <laughs> Probably. She does say kiss the ground and yep. pathetic and pitiful. She's a very negative Nelly android. Lots of good full string quotes, though. <laughs> I don't know. If I had some sentient or licorice, I'd be a little worried. Yeah, don't eat that. Mm. Don't touch those androids, honey. They're dirty. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look at all these robots they're fighting. 
through and get some oil and screws and nuts and bolts on them or something. Yeah, actually, they they like they biodegrade pretty quickly. See, now I'm just imagining Link fighting a bunch of guardians that keep spawning and just reaping all of those ancient screws and cores and all that. Oh, you've been watching me play too much. <laughs> yes, let's turn it into a twin stick. Not showing the little robot that's like got a dustpan, just kind of scooping them up. Yeah, right. right. Low from Wally. Wow. <laughs> I imagine at this it's point, this in the future, they've invented nano machines or something. Right. Yeah. The nano machines to the clean up everything. All just made of gray goo anyway. Yeah. So they're basically android ants. So, so what if you're just <laughs> fighting the same enemies again and again? They're just recombining in different ways. I mean, yeah. that would explain a lot. But you're saying they're recombining. Oh, goodness, I need to get rid of that Dynamic laser. reaching highway. Exactly. Dynarac, hello. Woo sir, Woo excuse me. All right. Bad touch. Oh. oh. <laughs> Just below 3K. And then I eat it on a, on a free-floating bullet from somewhere. <laughs> something, something EI. Yeah, Incredible. Yeah. All right, well, no biggie. 2998 though is the number to beat. That's pretty impressive. All right, well we got time to kick that above 3k. Just a casual 11 mil already at layer 21. I think that's a pretty good pace. Yeah. We'll know for sure once we hit justice. It'll be just up. Which we will be hitting, I think, next layer. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Never quite remember the number of the layer he's on. I know Vespi is 15. I know. Please, thank you. <laughs> I know Embryo is 7. Oh, must be 23 or something. I don't know. Twenty-three years of prime. It is. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hear a lot of lasers, and I can't see where they're coming from. There he is. It's like Resident Evil Four. And the dogs? Yep. Uh. <laughs> you knew exactly where I was going. Oh yeah. Huh. Heck yeah, I did. All right, here he is, 23. You can see the dogs, but I can only hear them barking. All right, I'm gonna let him drop. Are you gonna do your thing? Uh, Am I gonna have enough time? No. All right. Wow, he's really late on that uh, those fence post drops there. He was also kind of like, eh, whatever. Kind of wanted those for power ups, but I guess we'll just have to make do with those. I guess. Try to do this properly. So, here's our chance for a justice surge. Um, I think we got it. <laughs> Ooh, that was nice. slick. I think we got it. Um, could somebody in chat perhaps watch the tapes back and, and confirm if I got it? Any? Shoot. <laughs> Dangerous. I think I did, because the slash hit both the, uh, the final head there and his body. Plus, I'm over 20 mil right now, so that seems a good indicator. If so, that's another 10 points. Heck yeah. Towards the 14 hundo we need. Oh my goodness. Dangerous. Towards the 14 hundo we need for round 7! Oh. <laughs> oh, you jerk. Hey, you Oh my goodness, please. Which round was what? Which round is what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the context to announce. Yeah, big fan. I'm gonna assume I, I hit the uh, surge on that. I mean, it felt like it was. Or don't lie. That's true. We'd be missing about 800k if we didn't hit the surge. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess. Next round would be that number. <laughs> Electrodes can actually get batteries. Only sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping to get that fourth one up there. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, so we're about halfway through. Third layer 25. Closer to that 27th layer stretch, you know? Very important. Over here, <laughs> love it. Like, get your ass over there, fool. I mean, but dang it. See, I've had five rounds to practice, not swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, you got the double. There. Thank you very much, Kenny, for going back and looking at that. Thank you. Yes, good, good to confirm. Hard to confirm in the heat of the moment. I try not to watch my chain counter too much. There's a song about that. You're right, there is, isn't there? <laughs> Think about that for a second. Oh, come on. Doggo! Let go! Ugh. Don't need that. Oh, good. Casino lair. Heck Zone yeah. 2. Robot Heck roulette. Two. Exactly. <laughs> Always bet on blue, I guess. Huh. <laughs> Actually, no. Blue during the Slayer is bad. Just ends up freezing everything on the outer outer ring or something, and you gotta walk and get it. It's tough. It's Tougher. annoying. Just annoying and harmful to your battery meter, really. I mean, you can't speed run if you're walking. Yeah, it's true. Ouch! Oh. Right to the face. That was a clean shot. Let go of me, please. Stop. <laughs> Talking about that too. I don't know, is there a song about mines dropping on your head? I mean, I can make one. There's a song about raindrops that keep falling on your head. That's true, that's true. Got a lot of that going on Ooh, today. Excuse me. Ooh, there was a mine can there. Um, did not know. Probably bad to slash it. <laughs> Oop. Actually, let's see here. Oh, that's fine. I still got in invincibility frames to do it, but I probably shouldn't intentionally do it. Cause that's scary. Strong yeah. emote combo there. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Oh, layer 27. Uh huh. 27th uh -huh. layer stretch. Oh yeah. Perfect. It's important to stretch and hydrate also. Mm -hmm. That's true. I'm going to be very, very happy when you get an ID PB and this is in your PB. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know if I want licorice to be my PB. Holy heck. Oh, I'm just saying about the 27 player stretch. Oh, I mean, I think I'm going to do that for all of my runs here on out. <laughs> so, yes, PBs. Got it. Love Eventually. it. Eventually. I don't know. Like, trying to best my current PB is going to be a trick and a half. Although, I didn't have the Justice Surge in there, so all I really need to do is get a Justice Surge and probably win. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance? There is a chance. <laughs> all right. Surely. Maybe not with Licorice. I'm not very good at surging in general with Licorice. Oh, excuse me. 
the, is that another Aberdeen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it okay. is. It used to be Coral, which was super embarrassing. Huh. For me, anyways, because I don't, I'm not very good at Coral. Right. I mean, you sure made Coral run this last time. Oh, Exciting. That was a, a garbage fire <laughs> through and through. <laughs> But you won. <laughs> I did, somehow. Like, I pulled it back. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Yeah, it's fun to watch the kind of different style of gameplay that Coral has. Like, I mean, she's good at surging for a reason. Her weapon set is great. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> right. I mean, we watched that run when we were 11 hours away, huh? All right, so now we're getting to the the upper 20s, and then the early 30s will be time to do this seriously. No more stretch break. We might take a stretch break still, but um, now the game is kind of like really angry at us. Well, yeah, you're in the purple wave. We, we ignored its gentle suggestion at the 20s to, to stop, and now it's being a bit more forceful. So we need a donation incentive for you to play co-op with one of the devs. Oh, that'd be awesome. I don't know if the latency would work, though. <laughs> so we need a donation incentive to fly you out with one of the devs. <laughs> you know, uh, when... Shoot. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, when all this kind of resolves. In an oh, alternate reality, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if there's anybody doing shit posting, it absolutely has to be the eye. Yeah, that's right. Australia doesn't have internet. Yes. They have cans on string. If that, usually spider web. Oh, spider web. Yeah, that'd probably actually be better. Yeah, you, you <laughs> go with the more sturdy material. Yeah, sturdier, probably more conductive. You know, arguably. Ooh, that was a scary jump. <laughs> yeah. EI, I can empathize heartily with that. <laughs> Actually, I kind of wonder how co-op would go over Steam Remote Play. It's been pretty good every time I've used it. Well, maybe not every time, but most times. I mean, I could practice Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you avoided the spray bullet. Yeah. I'm proud of you. It was the two mine cans that were eyeballing me up there, and I was <laughs> like, um, please no. Oh, nice. Got that guy who's popping in. This location is that battery drop. <laughs> Get me out of there. That was a nope. That's definitely a handy benefit of that secondary movement it affords you. Mm -hmm. Sure does. Not so much when a doggo grabs you, though. Well, and that's a real short trip. Yeah. Speaking of. Oh, I lost that fire power up there. Let's just get caught up here again. Yep. Oh, oh brutal. cut that corner a little too short. Oops. Oh well. Although now at this point in the 30s that we're going, every down is going to be very costly. There's our first little blip of critical, too. So, um... Right hmm. on time. 
Hmm, a little bit earlier than I would have wanted. Would have hoped for like 32, 33. But okay, that's fine. We've got plenty to work with yet. We haven't even brushed Especially out the that. gold yet. Huh. Oh, I didn't want that shut down. I guess it worked though. Oh! Oh! Rocket Ooh. fire! Come on, get up. Uh. Look, Grish, you're so slow all of a sudden. It really is when you lose the ex that accelerate. Mm -hmm. Like, oh man. I'd imagine it takes a little bit to get back into the flow of things once you lose your speed and your DPS. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, if you're at full weapon energy, usually you only drop to about level one and a half. Right. If you take continuous spills, then it's like, well, okay. May as well just start over. That was good timing. Also... Orange and blue. Chef kiss. It is a good color though. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Totally not doing that in our walk. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a quick way to get rid of a lot of enemies to get that matter just on. Good timing. Very dangerous holding it for a full charge. Mm -hmm. All these dudes around. But... I swear she just said bots. Uh, well, I think Grish that was might. the second half of robots. But oh, okay. I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, bots. <laughs> Ooh, scary. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, oh, did I come back here? Okay, thank you. Oh, right, we're on 31, so we're coming up the Titan gank that will determine if we, uh, get Embryo EX or not. The next enemy wave. Hey, Ronsley, how you doing? Ooh, sugar, Ooh. I am in a bad Whoa. spot here. Excuse Whoa. me. All right, thank you. Of course, it's gonna pop over there. All right. Oh, excuse me. Okay, now here comes the Titan gank. Ooh, a dance right in front of him. That would have been bad. Oh, pretty. So what is it about the the layers in the 30s that seem like they take so much longer than the 40s? Oh, they ramp up a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a heightened perception of how long they are because of how much more stressful they become. They really are, like, just wave upon wave. Here comes Embryo VX, so that's another five points towards our good old total. Oh, yeah. Embryo. Ooh, that was a good timing. Usually I totally eat it on that one. I'll dance right in front of a spray, and then it's like, well, okay, GG, well played. Wow. Sure. Recovering your battery there. Yeah. Yeah, Embryo EX is really good for a battery recharge. Oh shoot. Um, like this. That is what I guess. you're doing. Yep. Oh no. Yeah. Kind of figured oh. that was gonna happen. Thanks. All right. Well, not good, but whatever. Oh shoot, and I even missed the slash there too, and now we're going to be in real bad position. <laughs> okay. Are you just coming on with something? Will I? I don't think so. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. There we go. Alright, well, not the most ideal Embryo EX fight, but, um, battery's looking good. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Excellent advice, EI. Uh-huh. 
He's supposed to avoid going first person on the ground. Oh, but the ground's so pretty! And it tastes good too. It does, kinda. Got this little futuristic sci-fi metallic-y taste to it. Exactly. It's totally not, uh... I don't know. Space death. I mean, currently the color of the ground reminds me of chocolate, but that's just me. I mean, I do like chocolate. Ooh, that could be like honey oh, chocolate. Why did I hang out there for so long? Oh. Ah, yes, it's the Transformers theme. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yep. And it's also Licorice's theme that plays when you fight her in the oh, campaign. That's kind of great, actually. It's real bad, all these wasp cans left over. Battery, thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, hi. So, just to clarify, Infinity Drive is solo only, right? It is not, no. Oh. You can play with up to four people. Eight. Oh no. Oh, sugar. Um, thank you. Good lord. Where was that one at? Um, the spear door. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. So does battery deplete constantly or just when you're firing your weapon? Not that it, there's much of a distinguish between the two. Right. Uh, it does deplete constantly. Gotcha. The meter does not appear to drain at a constant rate, but it really does. Gotcha. Jeez, that was a scary 33. Do not need to repeat that. Mm. Mm. Okay, better. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Get the battery! Um... Mm -hmm. mm, uh oh. Um... Oh! <laughs> no, I jumped back into it. Oops. I think you got a lot of your weapon things back. A silly move to do. Very technical turn. Another chain drop there too. So we're gonna be on blue 34 for a bit. Not exactly somewhere we want to be. It's now the battery thresholds are moving up at a rapid pace. Yep. And boy, howdy, is that scary. Oh my goodness, please. Alright, let's see. 34. If I have to, I'll burn a few more power ups than normal. Ooh, that was a quite a distance to go there. Um, sirs. Sirs, excuse. <laughs> excuse me. No, dog, I'll let go. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. What a poor place to be putting myself in. Good. I think we recovered a little bit of battery sense. Mm -hmm. Not hearing yeah. that critical alarm quite as much. Oof. There we go. Entirely out of critical now. Not for long, I'm sure. Ah, oh, the Ooh. laser just barely take. Yeah, right through everything. Um, yeah. Okay. Ooh. No firepower to take down the wasps. Oh, 
this laser and turn her up. Alright, whatever. They're popping later and later, and I don't like it. Accelerate back. Thank you. Accelerate. That one was next to you. Yeah, I mean, that's not great. So we're not really gaining any on 37, and once we hit 38, that's Curse Town. <laughs> Population Curse Town. me. Yep. Gonna pop some shutdowns, get some big kills. Mm -hmm. I think so. Good thing that blocked that for me. complete, but layer after curse is sometimes more important. That was pretty pretty. pretty. That's very pretty.
39 just drags on and on. Yeah, sure like, seems to. Like it should have ended three times by now. Might have been a pity battery. Um, <laughs> we don't need those right now. Or I'd, rather, I'd prefer not to have those right now. Please. Okay, 40s. Good, good. Not done with this yet, clearly, but that's better. Ooh, that's a spicy place to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. And then I held it for a charge, so that was even not a good idea. <laughs> it's continuing in the theme of this run. <laughs> yeah, yeah bad was, ideas are us. That was bold. Um, thank you. Okay, good. Battery pop right at layer transition. Means we're not as far behind as I thought. Oh, except it's conveyor belt layer. You. Mm. Conveyed you a battery. Very often conveys them away from me, and I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> That's understandable. Alright, never have to take that one. Thank you for popping there, my goodness. Okay, good. Very clean conveyor belt layer. Nothing got stuck behind anything. to go in without panic flipping there because I didn't have enough juice to do the thing. Mm. Very scary with that spread of bullets. My kingdom for a shutdown, thank you. Oh. Gotta clear the field. Gotta get a battery to pop. Mm. There it is. Oh Ooh, my goodness, thank wow. you. Oh. I had to jump in. I wouldn't have gotten it otherwise. The clutch clutch, as it were. Ooh, excuse me. Right into the frame. Oh my goodness, they need to stop jumping those over to me <laughs> immediately. Okay, that felt good. Excellent. All right, this is looking nice. Yeah, we got this. 
One more big dude. Bonk. <laughs> there you go. All right. Solid. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I guess I am. Um, that was a pretty long one too. Fifty-four minutes. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a goodly amount of time, but there's a win. Yeah. Well done. Whew. All right. So let's tick up some numbers here. One ninety-four plus twelve would be two six. Did have an embryo ex fight. We had the surge. That's another victory. And we already counted the sub. You said there were about five hundred bits before, right? Yeah. That'd be. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Five hundred there. You know, now I'm really curious. That sounds like it's going to be very close to 14 hundo. Uh-huh. So, uh, let's, let's do some math with a calculator this time. Uh. Uh, to a six for downs, 45 for, oops, no, to a six plus 40, next, 45, uh, plus 30 for surges, plus 180 for victories, plus 10 for falls, 280 for subs, wow, uh, 11 for bits, plus our total donation count. 553 plus 50 from the external 1365 we were really close i don't know if we'll get it exceedingly close like we've got two runs to make that i don't know i don't know if we can do it like i'm having my doubts ah. having my doubts okay good well that's run number one um let's let's hydrate a little bit that was a that was a rough end That was a, well, maybe not, actually. That was like from, I think from 37 onward was perfect. Pretty solid, yeah. That was the only way I could have won. Yeah. <laughs> is is to not take another spill in there. The permanent recovery mode all the way through mm -hmm. the end. Welcome to Infinity Drive. <laughs> Welcome to Infinity Drive at 34 plus, pretty <laughs> much. It's like, don't take it down, otherwise you're done. All right, well, that's licorice. Uh, next up is Shiitake. Hey. I have to change shirts. We just got some gift subs. Oh my goodness, how many more gift subs? Five. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ron Clay. Alright, well that definitely puts us over then. Heck yeah. Two, three, four, five. I guess uh, we'll be seeing you on which day? Sunday? Okay, um, round seven is now unlocked, so that'll be Monday night. Monday. Sweet. 7pm yeah. CDT oh. with runs 19 through 21. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, better get my guesses in. Oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah. All right. I shouldn't forget that at the end then, because I need to unlock those. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm so bad at changing shirts. <laughs> All right. So Gosh. bye bye Holly shirt. I guess it was the lucky charm that time. So thank you, oh. Kenny, for recommending I wear it. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you had, like, all of these shirts on in order, and, like, you were just, like, gonna take one off, and you have the next one right there. You know, I didn't think about doing that. That would've, that would've been pretty funny. We're not trying to get onto an airline with only a carry-on. Come on. <laughs> I think I would be too sweaty to do that. Like, that would be extremely warm for the first few runs. I mean, yeah, because <laughs> as you progress, and, and you get sweatier, you, like, can, yeah. you can take off more layers and, and maintain uh, that, you know? That's, that's a good idea. I'll have to remember that for next time, though. Gross. You know, kind of. Kind of a little bit. <laughs> so, Maybe don't. Next to Shiitake, <laughs> the uh, android of Earth Tones. Mmm, brown. I right. guess, brown thunder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ew. <laughs> ew, so I don't know how visible that is with me, like, half out of frame. Did anyone but even tell Adam about that? I saw the image. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, that was posted on I 100% saw it. Gotcha. So let's get the window dressing set for Shiitake here. And her alt skin is probably one of the weirder ones. I mean, shiitake. Right. Um, but we've got, you know, standard, let's see, standard shiitake, you know, and, you know, earth tones, you know, brownish pants, you know, silver armor, whatever. Um, and then you've uh -huh. got alt shiitake. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what's the name of this one? Uh, I don't know. That's uh, a look. Like Punisher shiitake? I think she's got the whole <laughs> yeah. Punisher skull thing going on, right? Okay. Yeah. I can, I can see that being a thing. Uh, so yeah, there, there, there's alt skin shiitake. Of course, she has the, the standard like brown metallic as well. Huh. Um, but yeah, since we're second runs through here, All right. uh, let's let's go, I guess. Um, bang bang. We're zero for one with shiitake so far. So um, hmm, hmm. Let's see oh, if we can see if we can pull this off. So shiitake oh, yeah. has her railgun. Yeah. For the primary, it's pretty nice. Uh, theoretically, infinite damage because it penetrates and it goes until it hits a wall. So if you've got the right enemy lineup, like, bye-bye, everything. 
Uh, our secondary are these propeller mines. Exceedingly good AoE. You get five of them before you gotta put them away for a bit. But they make the Vespi ball strat extremely doable. Yeah, that sounds kind of great. Which we will see when we get to 15. And I guess I'll take that Accelerate. Accelerate will actually be a little bit more important for Shidake as well, since uh, we need to run around and line up our shots uh, <laughs> a little bit more and not miss them and drop chain like that, but, uh, you know, just for demonstration's sake. Oh, this weapon's so cool, though. In the back of my head, I can only hear, like, the Quake 3 announcer going, Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since we were on green layer there, we didn't get a big red, big red keg drop in. I was looking for him. He did not oh, appear. No. So there's the uh, the enemy counts in action for a layer other than red. Huh. I had it wrong. It was impressive. That's what it was. All right. right. Better recited. Oh, that's a new line. Yeah. Take gets a little angry if you miss batteries, though. Mmm, <laughs> lithium! Chomp. Just dancing between those blue bullets there, jeez. You kinda gotta. <laughs> Although, no, you really don't gotta. Like, I'm just... Like, mm. <laughs> I'm putting myself against the wall like a big smart guy. Um, which had layer fours, whatever. Uh, I'll bring my chat back into focus here. <laughs> Need another thing to. Uh, oh, you're just distract roasted me. a little. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's what, I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> like, hey, if I'm gonna get roasted, I wanna be around yeah. to see it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> a chain break on layer two, yeah. That's yeah. well deserved. Um, this down on four wouldn't be good. <laughs> Purple! Yeah, I'm done with this. Oh. If only it were hexagon. Yeah. Hey, it's the cool song. Uh, this, yeah, this is zone three, isn't it? My my personal best, or my personal favorite, rather. Really. It's the one that I hear you singing to the most. Yeah, because usually when I'm doing speedruns of campaign, this is where you start hitting the flow, and it's just like, yeah, okay, I need something to do, so let's sing along a bit. Hell yeah. It's got that kind of 80s sound to it. Yeah, fusion of that in like 2000s industrial kind of. I enjoy industrial track. So weird to do Oh, nice. Oh, no. Okay. Jeez. Dove right into that explosion. <laughs> How many bets did you just bring? Like it owed me money. <laughs> um, so that, that's first down layer five. Oops. I feel like there's a joke to be made somewhere about roasted mushrooms, but I just can't come up with a punchline. Uh. Well, whatever, that's first down's out of the way now, nothing but perfect, right? That's how it always goes. Caffeine will do that to you. That's true. Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, you missed the first down in, in layer 5 there. Yeah. That's what you get for getting a cup of whiskey. Ooh. 
Yeah, I imagine with something that's got such a, a long reload time, you gotta kind of get like creative with how you deal with that. Yeah, accelerates are, are a must mm. most times, or a lot of flipping back and forth, especially well, if they start to be bouncy like that. Paying attention to how you lead the enemies around, I'm sure as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hello, embryo again. By phase one. <laughs> That's quite the knockback. Bye bye, phase two. You gotta try a little harder, Andrea. Come on. You want that promotion, don't you? Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Embryo. Pretend you're in the mainline Mega Man games. <laughs> He is not doing so well. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Oh, bonk. Bye, Embryo. Good try, buddy. Yep. Oh. Well, I'm thinking that mm. uh, one of us might be able to go and grab something. Oh, hi. Apparently the bottom of my laptop wasn't snapped in all the way. Oh, no. Oh, now it is. <laughs> Problem solved. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, I see why you don't like that one. Okay. So you're playing as a mushroom, and it got me thinking about food. So, sorry about that. Did you have a meal? <laughs> no. Before? Oh. We didn't have time, unfortunately. Uh, well. So we're going to uh, fix that. This sounds really good without the cilantro. Without cilantro, you can eat it. Well, I mean, pretty sure if Ron doesn't like cilantro, right? No, I like cilantro. Oh, you do? Okay, it's just you. Okay, I got yeah. you. Yeah, okay. You all can get something with cilantro, I just am not going to eat as much of it. <laughs> I'm guessing you're talking about pizza based on the conversation. Yeah, they, they're only open until 10. Uh, so... Mm, yeah, that would be uh, cutting it close. Well, I mean, it's eight. It would still be cutting it close. We still got the rest of this run plus uh, another fair. one. That's fair. Yeah. So if you need to jet out, oh, we're fine. Sooner rather than later. That's fine. Yeah, we can at least wait for you to finish this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah, you get plenty of time for this one. And that's not an excuse to just tank the run. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We've still got a lot of run left. Still got 40 layers. Barbecue sauce, chicken, pineapple, red onion, smoked gouda. Oh, don't read it out loud. You're that's, gonna make the audience hungry. That's a lot of different flavors. It's called the Clucking Gouda Pizza. Oh, I get it. <laughs> that's one of their specials. They also have a brat pizza. Ooh, brats. That sounds good. Yeah, it actually does. Uh, there's a dot, dot, dot. There's more. I want to get to this one. Come on. Or, or just not. That's Ordering fun. pizza. The stream. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna yeah, have to flip this over here. to social eating now. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. That was a good shot. Is that Quite even an actual Twitch category? Yes. Well, there's IRL. Is there a social eating like specific I'm, thing too? I don't know if it is specific, but yeah, I'm, I was gonna say like, there are I'm, definitely people who sit there and nom on their food while they talk, and people watch them and sub to them for it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, whatever does it for you, I suppose. I it, wouldn't it do it. It makes but. sense in a weird way, but like, it's not the kind of thing I'd engage in. Yeah. But like, I can kind of see how like, oh, you can share a meal with a person, and that feels good to do. So it sure does. I mean, yeah. Yeah. especially nowadays. Yeah. Oops, that was a coward shutdown that I didn't need. Oh well. Mm, I want that to accelerate, thank you. Go get it. Sure. <laughs> you want her? Yeah. Get the first side. I just gotta know when. Eventually. Hmm. Very specific. A bit vague, but I can right? work with that. It's great. 
Alright, casual thousand. No problem. And you're only on layer 12. Yeah, could have been slightly better without the down on 5. Yeah. And the break on 2. Oops. Don't worry about it. I'm not that worried about it. I'm saying it could be better is all. <laughs> You can get that, or that one can eat it for you, whatever. Oof. Uh, Ouch. Caught by that spread shot a little bit. So bye bye, casual thousand. I knew something was going to happen as soon as I said something about it. Yeah. <laughs> Try to run, yeah. I'm a little murder mushroom. <laughs> She's very cold. I mean, like maybe, too. maybe not as mean as Licorice, but certainly on the on the level of all right. Well, don't want to meet me in a dark alley. Oh. So, how do the weapon levels affect the railgun? The railgun gets more powerful, naturally, and it, its hitbox also expands a little bit oh, okay. horizontally. That makes sense. I'm not sure about vertically, though. I haven't tested, like, say, a, a jumping blue Buster Titan, if it can clear the railgun slug or not at right. lower levels. You can just barely clip at the highest level. So if you see them jump and then just lose all of their audio in midstream, <laughs> and then they vaporize as soon as they hit the ground, they did not jump over my room gun slug. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I hadn't considered that, but it is fun that there's a Z dimension to everything. Oh yeah. If you really want to put that to the test, there's an alternate uh, first-person shooter mode you can turn on. Ah. Yeah, that's oh, a yeah. that's an experience. Uh, yeah, you yeah, played that when it first came out. Yeah, Sounds experience like is a experience. good way to good way to describe it. I was wondering about the camera angle for this game, as far as like you know, they have a uh, very snappy camera that follows the player character. Oh yeah, pretty it's, tight. It's, it's real nice. But it'll be interesting go. with something like Infinity Drive. You're playing in a small enough arena, you could theoretically just do a fixed camera. But that would uh, make things harder to keep track of. Yeah, it does get a little messy with more than one player. Yeah, that too, and then especially. And they're opposite ends of the field. Then you get zoomed out. All right, ball strats, here we go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. That's a quick way to get changed. Yep. Assuming I pull this off properly. Real easy way to get rid of the wave, too. Uh, one more, maybe? Thank you. Alright. Nice. Ooh, okay. Excuse me, I got a little too close. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me, that was a little scary because we were running out of juice for the mines there. Alright, good. Good Vespi. That was a easy breezy Vespi. I did try to reach out and touch us a couple times, but awesome girl? we had a had enough invincibility at the end of the swamp to not take an immediate down.
they're slow and they spread out like that. That mine had somewhere to be. Was that her first bolt of the night, almost? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I've said it a couple times during yeah. the licorice run. It was oh, a real okay. scary run. I must have missed it. chain right there and it wasn't paying attention. Good work. That might be during this run. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> it wouldn't let me set a time. Yeah. That's right, we're about two fifths through the run. Layer-wise, time-wise, you know, maybe more, maybe less. I mean, the 30s last, like, 90% of the run, right? Uh, yeah, the 40s go real quick. It's five minutes in and out. Yep. And ten layers are under the belt. Uh, yeah, that's almost like the programmer joke. The first 90% takes 90% of the time, and the last 10% takes 90% of the time. Right. Oh, this was smooth. It's that very is, uh, stodgy. I don't like it. I appreciated the fireworks. I guess. I mean, it's pretty quick to zip from like 40 to 41 to 42 to 43. Mm -hmm. Like. I guess one enemy wave per. Right. Yeah. So it makes it so scary if you enter the 40s at, say, like a blue layer or something. You don't get back to red until 43. Ooh, excuse me. Lots of firepower extension. those fish bullets across the <laughs> arena here. <laughs> I was thinking it too, Ronkley. 
it's like, that's a lot of hard liquor. <laughs> Not fish bowls. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Although this, that would be a lot of liquor. Yes, yes it would. Yeah. But many of them. That thing boxed up your power up. It did. So any time, like during a layer transition, if it turns into a wall or into a hole or something, if there's a power up sitting there, it's gone. Yeah. Kind of stinks. But by that same token, if you're sitting on there, or a battery is or something, something really important, it'll stay in its you know, pre-transition period until you step off. Huh. I tried to, ex try to exploit that a little bit with the center on certain layers. So it turns into an island or just a hole or something. Sure. And you can get really weird enemy spawns sometimes, too. Like, maybe you'll get right. a turret there that shouldn't be there. But because it's still available space, like, it'll show up. Well, this sounds like a challenge run waiting to happen. Just stay in the center for oh. an entire hitting the new drive. That would be an interesting go of things. I think you might be able to manage it until the bosses. Right, yeah, the bosses would mess the thing. Like, Embray is not good for much. He is a dang good sumo wrestler, though. <laughs> White doggos? Yeah. It looks like a Minecraft sheep. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. You know, white and boxy? Yeah. yeah I get you. Bah. Don't have shears, though. Sorry, buddy. No. Well, I do have shears. Well. But uh, it's in the form of a railgun slug. Uh, <laughs> it's like, hmm. <laughs> I was thinking about that. You should uh, consider getting a server up again. I've been playing a little bit recently. I've been watching Slide Play been kind of interested in... Well, I guess they played a little bit, too. Yeah, I'll let's... What are you doing here? Thank you. I ended up finding, like, a large forest and mushroom biome combo and built a nice base oh, there. shoot. I don't know if I wanted to do that. Uh, this is going to be an interesting surge setup if he doesn't blow up his own head. Oopsie. Well... Um, please don't lose the chain at least, thank you. Alright. <laughs> so no surge, but uh oh well. Yeah, it's more important not to take it down. Tell your game has a cool sound sign though. Like, mm -hmm. let's be real. Yeah, they did a fantastic job all across the board. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, I had a question about that. So, mm -hmm. are there any glitches in this game that you found? Okay, so there's one... well, probably more than one. I mean, did you get stuck in a wall on it? Well, that's like a, an artifact of multiplayer, though, isn't it? With the layer trend, or the... I don't remember how that works. It was about two-thirds of the way through the run, you know, I was on the outer wall, and I got boxed in somehow. Mm, uh, I don't remember that. But yeah, that is... It not, it's not common, but it's possible. For a while, and I think they might have updated it such that it happens way less frequently, on one of the campaign levels in Zone 5, the very first one in fact, where it spins around and lets uh, enemies out of the edges, if you hit a shutdown at the right time, sometimes you'll get an enemy permanently caught behind oh, the walls. Oh, it's an enemy, not me. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we yeah. couldn't progress. We right. had to restart. Yeah, soft lock, so you just restart the level, but yep, it's yep. still kind of, ugh. <laughs> yeah, we did that in a marathon. That was kind of not great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm hmm I haven't had it happen recently, though, so maybe they fixed it. Um, there are some other cases where something like a wasp will get caught entirely in a wall. Or 
specters will somehow become unhittable yeah. or oops ouchie Oof. so uh Kenny, serious question about that though like how does the game handle out of bounds <laughs> get a computer to program for you kid yeah i don't think it really gives you anything terrible it's just a soft lock i gotcha you can't once you get outside the bounds of the level you just can't move there's no like hill plane, there's no like stepping way out of bounds, flipping through walls. Yeah, I just wasn't sure because like there's no height in this game really. So like you wouldn't void out per se. I mean there is, but I don't know if there's any But you can't any fly. way to adjust your player height. Right. The, yeah. the only time that would happen I can think of is during Licorice's secondary. She flies around on her jetpack and ignores uh, holes. I gotcha. Um but I don't know if I, of course I haven't intentionally tried to do it, but I don't know if you can use that to Oh, that's interesting. There's no beneficial bugs or exploits. Let's yeah, put it that right. way. Yeah, it's, sure. it's usually only a, a time loss or a soft lock. Fair enough. I await the day that some year down the line, when they're feeling confident in their base game code and whatnot, that there's a way for people to design custom campaigns. That'd be wild. That would be amazing. Yeah, level editors are always fun. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they sort of do something like that with the dailies every now and again. I suppose. I forgot they had dailies in this game. Although I'm not sure it's like strictly random. I think it works off a, a pretty large set of prefabs. Oh well, sure. Of, of layers or of waves and, and layer setups and all that. I mean, that's the same thing as like D1R. Right. Like that. And. Oh, didn't even notice we're on Casino Lair Zone 2 now. Yep. Oof. Oh. <laughs> well, hello there. Rip. Back to blue 26. Not good. With no accelerate and less than total railgun. Good shot, though. It reminds me of, uh, I don't remember what it's called, there was a game that I was uh, playing in, like, an edutainment game, I guess, where it's like, you have a bunch of points on a graph, and you're supposed to plot a line that covers as many of them as possible, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Pretty amazing. Let's just admit it. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit less scary to flip through mine tanks with uh, Shiitake, just because the AOE on the mines, on your mines. Hey, arpeggiating stuff is really cool, especially with pure waveforms like that. Mm -hmm. Totally down for that business. I was really excited to discover Spore Wave on my Yamaha PSR way back when because it was like, oh my gosh, I can play any F song. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately my first one was the Labyrinth theme from Z1. Because mm -hmm. it's almost all Spore Wave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll let you know if something amazingly zany happens. Okay, I'm sure I'll miss it. Oh, we're getting to the zany stuff too. Late 20s, early 30s. So you'll still be coming back in like layer 33, don't worry about it. <laughs> if I get that far. <laughs> you'll be fine. He says.
Well, you've done a good job with batteries, but they haven't heard or insulted you yet. That's true. Yeah, yeah, I was listening for that. Yep, same. <laughs> like, missing one shiitake is worse than pretty much anybody else. Just because her run is just a little bit slower. Right, oh, yeah. Gotcha. I thought it was because you were, you know, soft the insult. Oh, no. no, no, no. Even at top level, that recharge time for the railgun and the way you need to line stuff, it's harder to squeeze the battery out when you need it. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. the, the AOE and the propeller mines certainly do a good job for you. For sure. So, here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hanging out on the Discord server for the game. Dev, appreciating, you know, everything that you've been doing for visibility for the game and whatnot. They consult you to design a new Android. <laughs> what do you make? <laughs> yeah, drop chain there as I was thinking about it. Sorry. Um, hmm. I don't know. That's hard. They've got such a good spread of, uh, of weapons and playstyles already. Like, I would hate to just build another traditional, like, machine gun or whatever. I'm trying to think about what they told us about some of the beta androids. Like, before they settled on the set that they had now, some of the weapon sets were vastly different. Interesting. Aubergine in particular, they didn't settle on Hilo until pretty late. Huh. She had a, a very much more traditional weapon. I forget what it was now. Uh, but let's see. I don't know, I think I'd, I'd like to see... Dang it. I think I'd like to see... Maybe one or two of the secondaries become primaries. Oh, sure. Like, maybe a weaker flamethrower for Cactus or something as the primary instead of her secondary, and then replace her secondary with something else. Cool. Although, then that would be extremely short range. Maybe even shorter range than Coral Shoddy, and I despise that. <laughs> so yeah, I, might, I, was, I might have to take that back. I was gonna ask about that. Are any of the uh, primaries any shorter range? But... Uh, no, I think Coral's that's, is the, that's is the shortest. The shortest, yeah. Because even Peanut, despite that having a shorter range, has a little bit of arc to it, and then it hangs around after the fact. Right. I think it'd be interesting to offer some different androids for FPS mode. Just to encourage people to play it a bit. That's true. It, it's it's a fine enough mode on its own, but you can tell the game wasn't designed to be played right, that yeah. way. But the fact that it works so well the way it does, without really any tweaking or anything, is, is pretty good. Oh shit, yeah. Oh crap, yes, <laughs> we forgot the 27. Oh shoot, did I? Oh man, why didn't oh. somebody tell me beforehand? Well, we're doing it now then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, I was into it. Right in the middle of 29. Right. 29 player stretch, it's fine. Okay, EI, if I don't do that, like, is it a marathon? <laughs> <laughs> or, I guess it's sure. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Love it. Love it. It's pretty good. Well, very important to stretch and hydrate, etc. This is absolutely Kenny's work. It is, you're right. He put that together for me. It's pretty good. Thank you, Kenny. Oh, I didn't want that shutdown. Come on, man. Oh, I don't want that rocket in my face either, so, you know. Oof, uh, That series of mines. Hey, musical shit posts are my favorite types of shit posts, thank you. I mean, whatever you would a uh, heck post, there we are. <laughs> I was wondering if you're gonna catch on to that or not. <laughs> well, I oh, have a shit. channel on my Discord called Heck Post. You'd think I'd, you know, remember that. Yeah. Oh wow, dropping chain all over the place here. At 29, that's a little sketchy and scary, but, um. Let's see what happens. Hey, that. you got that really cool color scheme going on. Okay, small mercies, I guess. <laughs> I mean, at that point, is it even swearing, or, you know, because, like, it's basically a word of its own. That's true. I guess. It's got a four-letter word contained therein, so... Yeah, I mean, I'd does. hinge on yes. <laughs> it's just difficult because your brain doesn't categorize it as yeah, vulgar, that, and that's then... True. Yeah.
Oh, you can <laughs> Oh, fuck. Right in the face. That was almost an Opa. I have to learn from Kenny's skill. Someday, I'll propose that we collaborate on something. <laughs> A little evil laugh at the end really sells it. I mean, it's always going to be at your expense. So don't worry about it. Oh. oh. Wow, that was well. Oh, and then uh, yeah, see, you were talking about frame perfect uh, power up grabs before. There we go. One hanging right over my corpse. It really wanted to make sure that you can get up and move. I guess. But still, having a shutdown is just, like, the worst. Like, you've already got the invincibility from getting up from a knockdown, and then everything's frozen around the level, so it's like, well, okay. This is my life now. <laughs> oh, better than your death. I suppose. Yeah, I'd imagine with Shitake, the shutdowns are not going to be as convenient. No. Of, like, it makes it harder to line up enemies. Until you get to the 40s and you shut down a whole thing and there's a huge cluster right, in the middle. Right, yeah. Hop in, drop mine, get on out. Feels good. Profit, yeah. But at this rate, 40s would be quite a stretch. Oh, since we're on 31, so we're coming up on Titan Gank soon. Yeah, a couple more waves, maybe one more wave after this one. With the way that EI talks in chat, you'd think that they bet low on you for every run. <laughs> well, they dang well better have bet low on this one. That's <laughs> a shiitake. But then again, I think everybody bet low on Coral the other day, yeah. and that one turned into a win, so who knows? Well, hey, Mr. Bond, if they bet high, that wouldn't leave you much room for improvement. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. Oh. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, why did I get that shutdown? I was so disgusted by that that I decided to grab a coward shutdown. <laughs> okay, Titan Gang, here we go. I kind of need that battery there, too. There it is. Uh, Alright, it's fine. So there's another five points. Did I update the point count for the next round? I don't think I did, right? Anybody see me do that? Once we hit the 14 hundo? Uh, no. Probably not. Okay, well, there there is another threshold. It's 2,000 points. Ooh. <laughs> so we've got the rest of tonight and uh, now Monday, I suppose, to make that happen for round eight. Lord, can you imagine? I mean, we could just casually dump, like, 50 gift subs, and then, you know... <laughs> I mean, that would do it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. A little scary. Taki's really got the weaponry to take care of this dude at range, but... DPS just isn't enough. I mean, he needs more phase. than one emo, so let's be real here. Oh, excuse me. Also, excuse me. Uh, oh, that's a scary fight. <laughs> Oof, uh... Well, you do have to pay respect to NBA Garbage Trash. You do. It's the, it's the original one. OG. 
I really should fix it up a little bit. That's like 20 minutes in graphics program, so uh, looks kind of sketchy. I mean, that was a pun. Good job. I guess it was. <laughs> it was really just two clip art trash cans slammed together. <laughs> huh. So it really is garbage and trash. Got it. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. Love it. Nothing if not literal sometimes. Of course, now I'm just thinking about all the time I wasted in my youth messing with clip art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez, this is so scary. Um, thank you. Hey, just think you're two thirds of the way done. Three thirds? I said two thirds. Oh, I heard three thirds. I okay. mean, that's no, that's my that's my brain on <laughs> shiitake right now. <laughs> Different I mean, kind of mushroom. I was gonna say, don't eat mushrooms, kid. I mean, you are on layer 33. True. Yeah, I just did lowly bits because I had bits left over. My bad. Okay. That was probably a pity battery, based on how late it popped. Oh, excuse me, no. Bad touch. <laughs> Exactly what you're talking about, but I don't know the name either. I know there's a name for him, but I just don't remember it. Good boy. So this is God. Oh my goodness, that's close. Pop it all the way oh, over there. No. Excuse me. Oh, that's the problem with infinite range railguns. Sometimes right. it's an enemy all the way over. It's like, okay, of course that one's got the battery. those two wasp cans, but just hate that dude getting in the way. Watch all those lasers. Give you.
the dancing there. Excuse me. Ah, he's gonna get a bullet on there. Come on, really? That's what I wanted. I think next down is going to be it. Like we're pretty deep, deep into death for battery. Moving slow. Around 36 green. Phew. Slightly better. Might be what does this in. Maybe not on curse, but post curse. It's definitely gonna be sketchy. Um, or it could be right here. Oh boy! Okay, that's definitely an indication that post curse is gonna kill us here. We'd need another extreme pity battery here. Oh my goodness, okay. Huh. Mm. And one here, which isn't gonna happen, I don't think. <laughs> All the way up there, of course. Yeah. Post curse is always a problem Close. when we're that low. So, all right, zero out of two on Shiitake, but at least we made it to 39 yeah. instead of failing on 35 like that one coral run.
Oops. Okay. Okay, so let's put some numbers in there. 12 would be 218. Uh, we had an embryo EX fight. No surge, though, I don't think, right? No victory and no new other things, right? That I didn't miss. Okay, good. Very good. Okay. Oh, Alright, I'm just glad to be done with Shiitake again because, oof, that is such a stressful run. So, one more shirt change. Since I do actually have a start shirt. Heck yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Starch's alt skin is kind of scary, and creepy, and all that. Oh, no. But it does match kind of her backstory as well. So let's uh, let's get the window dressing going. Uh, starch walk. Oops, not Starch and Shiitake. That would look scary. Huh. Hmm. Okay, so Starch's is uh, you know here's her standard silver. Blomp. <laughs> All right. System yeah. shock, anyone? Yeah. I was gonna say, that's a, a little system shocky, and it makes a lot of sense for her personality too, because she's kind of like out there. Yeah. And not all there sometimes too. Falling asleep in the character selection screen is probably a little out there. Yeah, it's it's a good indicator. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Same though. <laughs> So Starch is, has a weird story to her. You can tell she doesn't have uh, quite the aesthetic accoutrement that the other androids have. So she doesn't have like hair or like a really defined skin tone or something like that. Uh -huh. She's just kind of like a blank android shell. And uh, her her AI core kind of reflects that. Like she's just, she's flighty and she's uh, a little bit fairy tale ish and. and Kind of weird. Oh, I made it just in time. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you you missed a a loss on 39 for for Shitake there. Ah, oh, bummer. Yeah, it happens quite frequently. <laughs> <laughs> so Starch's role on the Genki Star really is a prisoner. Honestly, she uh, she got loose once and caused a lot of destruction, so they had to lock her up. And then when this whole business with the, the robots taking over, uh, she got let loose again by Cactus to help out. Huh. And uh, she really scares a lot of the bosses. If, <laughs> if you turn on the boss dialogue and go through the campaign, like they're kind of like not pleased to see her. <laughs> yeah, aren't, aren't all the rest of the protags like, what are you doing? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh man, keep her away from me, please. <laughs> And it's like, okay, well, maybe Starch is just a little misunderstood, you know? Mm. But, uh, she's not necessarily crew, but, uh, you know, she's on the Genki Star for a reason. I mean, Giant Death Laser, though. Yeah, she is, does have a, a sick laser. And it does have uh, infinite range, like uh, Itake's Railgun, but it doesn't pierce, and the damage falls off rather severely. So really, getting up in the grill of everything is the play. Yeah, it really is uh, just like, like a lightsaber type thing. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it melts. It just melts everything at point blank. And then her secondary, these little homing micro-missiles. A little hard to aim, because they will auto-target something about a mid-range from you. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. And then it'll distribute uh. targets as, uh, as things get locked on, so... It never quite goes where you want it to go. Um, but it does the job pretty well. Uh -huh. um. Yeah, she calls the firepower drones tiny robots. <laughs> and she calls the accelerate pretty wings. Tiny. And she calls the shutdown pretty circles. Or blue circles, <laughs> rather. That sounds like my kind of character, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah she, she's out there. <laughs> I might have to learn how to play start. 
she doesn't quite know what's going on. She's having a good time anyway. Yeah, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's Sometimes. pretty much my life. <laughs> Tiny robot, stay! Okay, yep, okay, <laughs> start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Becoming my fan favorite here. So Starch is by far the fastest in campaign, just based on her combination of weaponry. Yeah, roughly, like, how would you compare the damage output of the uh, of the secondary fire uh, from Starch? Uh, Starch's secondary isn't that good. Um, it's it's really hard to get them all to land on a single target unless it's a boss or something. Um, but like. Damage point for damage point, it's probably a little bit less than Cactus's flamethrower. It's a little bit less than a full splash from Licorice. It's probably a little bit less than a full set of mines from Chitake. Can you put the pizza boxes in the oven just I, to keep them warm? I can do that. Thank you. Well, and I imagine... Obviously don't start the oven. Yes, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. As compared to other secondaries, it does add a lot of visual noise to the screen as well. It sure does. All the smoke trails. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> Speaking of pretty. Oh. That's a one, two. And there's the first down on six. Oops. Dang that. Not oh. quite as embarrassing as the first down on five with the shiitake, but not great either. Shodan, that's what the... I was trying to remember the AI system. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go, Shodan. I was like, serious game that's a time played. Somewhere in the back of my brain. I played a little bit of System Shock 2 Ooh, last that was a year. Poor choice. Uh, it was enough for me to decide I wanted to play the entire game and buy it, but I haven't had a chance to play it yet because I didn't want to stream that. Huh, yeah, I'd absolutely want. I just... I haven't streamed anything regularly in a while, so... <laughs> Can't uh, imagine why. That's a move, though. Right. It'll be pretty sweet once we get back into it, though. I'm very much looking forward to, like, having a living situation that will stay the same for more than two or three months. Yes, please. So that I can actually feel comfortable with the streaming setup. Pretend that you are a tiny robot. She's telling you to stay in one place. <laughs> I could totally see Starch having a Fido as a pet, though. <laughs> it's just out of missiles and it keeps trying to shoot at her. <laughs> she would think that was cute, probably. I mean, right? yeah, yeah. Need that. Or that one. Oh, that's embarrassing. Same though. So, what does she say if you don't pick up the battery? She's more disappointed than anything. <laughs> she doesn't get angry. Not mad, just disappointed. Jeez. Just like, aw, oh, really could have used that battery. She didn't say that, but you can you can tell that in her, in her tone. Okay. She's so OP. I mean, I love it. <laughs> I mean, it's like funny instead of prideful like Shiitake was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or licorice, I'm sorry. Or both, really? Kind of both, yeah. Kind of both, just with different attitudes. Like, Shiitake was more like 
full-blooded, I think. Yeah, certainly more indifferent. Whereas Licorice is like straight up angry. I do like the difference in personalities. Oh yeah, they're really all very well fleshed out characters. The Cactus has got the whole too cool for rules type thing going on. Holly's really timid. Lemon's a real go-getter. So is Coral to a certain extent, but she's more practical about it. Avi is very straight-laced by the book. I can Pe totally see why you like her the best. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> Peanuts very much well get it done. Rega oh boy, that was close. Uh, regardless of how much damage she takes to her person. <laughs> oh, that mine is behind the wall. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Did I miss anybody in that set of nine? I think we got them all right. Uh, you mentioned Coral, right? Yeah, I got Coral. Okay. Yeah, I think we got them all. And then Starch is just kind of loopy out there. I often find the quote-unquote neurodivergent characters to be the most interesting. Yep. Yeah, the range on the laser is pretty good, and it does just enough damage to pop the mines. I pop. Not really having to worry too much. Pushing out in the center and spin in circles. Spin to win. Yeah, that's Aubergine's thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Casual fast. Gun is definitely more of a quake thing, but this laser makes me think of the uh, Sentinel Beam from Halo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Granted, the damage per distance aspect of it is different. But... That's really cool. It's kind of unfortunate that it's like not visually evident that right. the damage fall yeah. off is happening with yeah. this weapon, but yeah, you definitely notice it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why the conversation just reminded me of the linear longer. Oh, goodness. Talk about OP. <laughs> hey, that was fun. <laughs> I never wanted to go play an on-rails game about it again, again, though. That that was pretty fun. See a lot of charging through crowds with starch. Yeah, sure. Move or your face will get melted. Mm -hmm. Let's be ready. Ooh, a waste of a shutdown. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Park your butt there and be done with it. I like that strat. It's a good strat. Almost as fun as salt strat. Exactly. Almost, yeah. So long as the walk die, I don't really care. <laughs> no! <laughs> Bug zap or something. Exactly. So what you're saying is I need to like rip apart a Blu-ray drive to make you a little bug laser. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds dangerous. Laser cube you.
You know, those lasers are not really visible, are they? I mean, they're visible in the sense that you can see them <laughs> when you point annoying. them at something. <laughs> no. But you can't really see, like, the beam of the laser. Mm. Unless you're shooting it through smoke. But yeah, you can definitely get your hands on some reasonably powerful handheld lasers with which you could probably kill insects. Hmm? You just have to be very accurate. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Turf? Get yeah. off my tuffet. Tuffet, okay. Yeah. I... I... Wanted to say that it was, but I, I was like, she had to fix her or something. You know, stay out of Grandma's house. Uh, get off my tuffet. You know, I didn't hear the first one. Really? Oh, no. She says that too. Oh shit! Sure. I mean, yeah. stay out of Grandma's house. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> Stars are just fun. Every every hundred go on to the chain. She'll say another clip, as all of them do. There, there you we go. go. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> oh. I thought he was toast. It turns out it was me who was toast. I hate it when that happens. When you wake up and you're making breakfast. Yeah. Oh, I'm toast. I guess I'm toast today. Well, I mean, that would be a win condition in certain games. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. It's been a while since I played that one. <laughs> Which are we talking about? I am bread. Never heard of it. Yeah, the objective of that one is to become toast, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's a game where you just play as a randomly movable piece of bread that you can just flop around the kitchen. Okay. And you're supposed to try and toast yourself. That's one of those weird physics yeah. games. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's up my alley, though. It's kind of in the same vein as Goat Simulator yeah, in yeah. that there's, like, no real point to it, and you just pull random shenanigans and see what you can make happen. My kind of game. That's pretty good. I thought that one was about to run out. <laughs> but it was me here. Oh, okay. DDQ has really been milking that one. Mm -hmm. It's on their uh, schedule posting page, too. You thought this was the schedule? No, it was me, Dio! <laughs> I'm gonna hear it every time now that you pointed it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. see? Like that Vader mine off, I guess, sort of. Is that what it's called? I can never remember what that effect is called. Is that the is that the one where you see or you hear about something and you start seeing it everywhere yep. too? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kinda dark, but hilarious. Yeah. I mean <laughs> Turn turn down for what? Uh I will never not think of Hank Hill. <laughs> Turn <laughs> down for boy! <laughs> That's so good then. Whoa. What? Gosh. Nice judge though, like... Mm. <laughs> Turn down. <laughs> about the whole mid-range targeting thing. Mm-hmm. 
Not exactly what you want 100% of the time. Close enough, usually. Well, chances are they will at least hit something. Easily a 20. Like the. It's not necessarily crowd control as uh, crowd liquefaction sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mesmerizing after a while, I've realized it was just zoning out to it. <laughs> yeah, I, I would imagine it's one of those games, like many games, where once you get the hang of things, you can kind of autopilot yeah. the stretches of it. Mm -hmm. The zone. Yeah, 1 through 28, 1 through 29, usually, it's just like, eh, do whatever, and you're probably okay. Right. But yeah. it is very much a, a Tetris sort of thing where you just kind of sit back and. Mm. Feels good to go over here sometimes. Okay, well, that's happening now. And... Oh, hey, look at that. It's already Justice, so, uh... Uh-huh. Now you're it's fighting lasers games. with lasers. My laser wins. This time. I quite See, just look at that melt. It's disgusting. Yep. Mm, do I want that? Possibly not. Can we wait for it to roll over a bit? Ooh, that I think was the surge. Cool. That was a lot of numbers shooting up at the bottom. Yeah. But considering our score is only 19 mil, that might be questionable. Huh. I don't know. Maybe somebody in chat can confirm that one too. <laughs> hey, Kenny. It's hard. Uh, yeah. It's hard to pay attention to that particular thing. Like that last little bit on Justice. Justice is worth so many points that that last hit is three million. Jeez. With with the surge, I believe. And I think that's what I saw.
interesting. <laughs> World War II. Follow. Get it. Finally. I'm just like, Drop what? the disco. <laughs> <laughs> Don't step. <laughs> the future. <laughs> I'm so glad that I got to say, open the wash bay door, pal. Uh huh. <laughs> It's okay, I'm sure we can add that one to our growing list of space movies to marathon. Heck yeah, I actually like that one. I didn't dislike it, it was definitely, I mean, Kubrick, but... Yeah, sure. It was very well produced. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Again, for confirming. Two out of three on Surges tonight. Pretty good. It's actually really tough to get it with Stark, so I'm really surprised we nailed that one down. One. Lickrish is kind of a softer touch, what with her huge AoE secondary. Hmm. Take I just didn't have a good enough setup for. Otherwise, that's usually pretty easy with the good AoE on the mines. Solid 26. Oh, which means. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Caught it this time. Last one. Oh, <laughs> good. Good. Pour to hydrate and stretch. Do that. if I was going to drop chain there, because I did do a, a not good swap to rockets. Which, since we're past the 27th player stretch, is uh, now time to get more serious. Hey. Nice 
clean 3,000. I believe your previous TV for the night was 29.98. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. You were like even better. Yes, shy. And go. They targeted the wrong dude. Mm. I couldn't keep the chain rolling. Uh, oh well. 33, 3400, something like that? Not bad. Not bad. about the Black Plague. <laughs> mm, uh-huh. <laughs> right? Very on brand. Use an accelerator too out of that. Like for now. Oops. Oh wow, focus oh. fire. Oof. Again. Doggos. Cutting your mobility, no good. That is a useful ability of the missiles as they can go over and around obstacles. Yeah. Around especially since they appear out of the side of the gun right, instead right, of out right. the front. Hmm. Alright, back to red lane. 
better for that silly pair of downs. Coming up on Titan Gank. Maybe make it 3 for 3 on Embryo EX tonight. That'd be neat. That'd be quite good. It's less important for starch just because we can typically do a lot better on battery up to this point, but. Right, right. I'd rather have it than not. Phase. So, coward blue. Huh? Seems like the trick to a lot of his phases is to just stand nearby. Except for this one. <laughs> well, that's a bad spread. Mm -hmm. Oops, I don't think I wanted the blue. That's alright, whatever. Side of that, there we go. Okay. Very clean embryo EX. Mm -hmm. Kept chain through it all, full battery charge. Mwah. Chef's mm -hmm. kiss. Mm -hmm. Off, very clean. Keep this up through the rest of the run. Probably crack four or five. Oh, we're at three thirds again. Mm, yep. <laughs> Making a 
our way through NVIDIA GPUs. Alright. Hey. <laughs> for too long because I had to clear out those big doggos. And then they mailed you a package. Yeah, they're like, all right, well, get moving, man. Excuse me. Critical at 34, that's better. Well, on. That was getting a little dicey. Yeah, I didn't like how late that one was. Yeah, same. But since we're back in solid red layers, that's not too much of a concern yet. Like that one there, it's nice yeah. and quick. problematic now, considering we won't get to red layer until midway through 36.
right on the hair edge of pity batteries. Mm -hmm. it sucks. <laughs> so scary. If it tips over to the bad side of things, and we're fighting a losing battle trying to get it back later. Very, very slightly better, mm. but not enough. Like being this low in the 39. works well because you can kind of concentrate them in those hallways mm -hmm. and then charge on through
Ah, I was going oh. for that blue one there. Oh. Thought I could charge through. Not quite enough, though. This could be a little problematic, huh? Ah, nuts. Couldn't oh. get that blue either. Alright, now if we get a quick blue there, that's fine, probably. Oh, wow. Oh, um, hmm, that could be a problem now. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh, that was... Very ugly 49. Mm-hmm. We got it. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> well, that was a, a very ugly finish, but we still did it. Ooh, that, yeah. It's a pretty rocking score because of that surge. Dropped your gun and walked out. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so two for three on the night. That puts us at 10 out of 18. Oh, wait, no. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, it does. Never mind. 10 out of 18. So still well north of 50%, which I like to see. Let's put in some numbers, though. So 11, we'll take it to 29. Embryo fight, a justice surge, a victory. And that is that for that. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, let's see where we're at point-wise. Mm -hmm. We made a, a pretty good dent up to... to oops, I got to set that first. Since we cleared the 14 hundo, we're now at 2,000. Wow, that's that's a lot of points, but we got one more. One more full night to, to push that up there. So what do we got? What do we got here? So 229... 55 plus 40 plus 2 hundo. Oof. Plus 10 plus 380. Oh my goodness. Plus 11. Plus a donation total of 578. Oops. I don't know if I clicked into the right thing. 1503. Woo! Woo! Thanks to another $50 donation from EI. Look at that bailout. What garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was a pretty good bailout. Like, finally, the pity battery comes through for us that time. Yeah. Oof, 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 oof. My goodness. I like how Starch is just gone. Yeah, she mm -hmm. pieced out. She's had enough of this. <laughs> like, I wonder how she got out of there, because that's just a, just a big wall around the edge. Did you just climb out? I don't know. Laser out? Oh, no, she dropped her laser there, so she can't laser out. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, well, best of luck to start. So with round seven unlocked, uh, that's Aubergine, Shiitake, and Cactus for a third go of things for those three. My goodness, we'll unlock the contest for those as well Good shortly question. after. Mm -hmm. So why is the score different by two points? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, Arch, yeah. And then the score number. Huh. There is a two oh, point Oh, that's difference. a good question. Very unusual. I don't know. Huh. Maybe a rounding error? Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Floating? What? Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. That's a good question. Well, we've got it for posterity, so I can I can shoot that to the devs and be like, hey, <laughs> which score is my score? Not that it matters. This isn't going on the board anyways, because it's still a solid mill mm. behind my obby PB. Mm-hmm. All right, well, that'll do it for tonight. This is Infinity Drive for Life, and it will be yet on Monday, 7 p.m. CDT for round seven. Multi-day charity stream in support of Extra Life, which supports Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, in this case, Children's Wisconsin and Wauwatosa with their COVID-19 Impact Fund. Raised $628 so far, my goodness. Thank you, thank you very much, everybody. You're all very generous people, and I enjoy that. But one more night remains. I thought I was out of it tonight. <laughs> it's like, ah, it's the final round, yeah. Ah, uh, but Not you know, quite. Y'all came together. Going for the kids. Yeah, y'all came together. That's good. That's good. I'm glad I planned ahead this far. Uh, maybe not necessarily expecting it, but I'm glad <laughs> I planned ahead regardless. All right. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Thank you all for, for being my couch. Absolutely. Yeah. Glad I was able to not talk so much this time around. It really gets hard to, to dig topics out after uh, 15 runs. Yeah. Now 18 yeah. runs. My goodness. Yeah. yeah. Seem to be 21 runs. <laughs> well, 
stayed focused, got Ridiculous. a couple clears. So. Yep, mm -hmm. two clears. I'm not really shocked by this shiitake fail. That's expected, honestly. Yeah. So hopefully nobody doubled down on that one. <laughs> we'll see, though. Got to put those numbers in, see how those scores are lining up. Because we all got one more round. <laughs> one more, one more round. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Monday, 7 p.m. CDT. Good night. Bye-bye. Adios.